Hey, I'm Brady, and I'm going to show you how to navigate Originality AI's dashboard and configure your settings. By the end of the video, you'll be well equipped to use Originality AI to its full potential. So when you log into Originality AI, you're going to be taken to this dashboard. And a few things I want to point out here. So up on the top right, you have how many credits you have remaining. This credit balance is any of your one-time purchases. And then this monthly credits is however many are included with the monthly subscription. Here you have some links to some places you might want to go. Do you want to detect AI content? Do you want to add team members, adjust your settings, whatever that might be. Here you can see how much you've been using the tool. You can see I have not been using the tool that often. Got uh, one scan this week, used five credits, scanned 500 words. So uh, shame on me. Uh, you can see any of your recent content scans here. You have quick links to the results, to the share scan page, and to delete the scan if you'd like to. Here on the left on the dashboard, we have all of your navigation that you might need. So on the content scanner, you can start a new scan. You can look at your old website scans and pretty much the same thing for the website scanner. You can add a whole website to scan it, or uh, you can look at your previous website scans you've done. Here you can access your team members. So if you wanna add someone to your account who can run scans for you, you can adjust your billing stuff, you can use your API, whatever it might be, you can add them all right here. Just click this big yellow button, put in their name, and then put in an email address. Uh, I'm doing test three because I have recorded and failed this video a few times now. And then you can hit add a member and they're gonna get an email giving them login instructions, allowing them to set their password and so on. Uh, remember when team members log in, they have to go to this member.originality.ai slash login. It's different than your login. Uh, it's especially made for them, but this is all included in the onboarding email that they receive. So here you can see all the emails and accounts you have added to yours, all the team members you have. You can adjust their permissions. If you want to change some of them to admins, editors, whatever, you can remove them and you can filter their logs. Now their logs are just how active they've been, just what scans they've run and so on. And then of course here you can see all of permissions. If you want to use our API, you can come here to API access, create a new API key, and then access all of our documentation here. If you want code examples, if you want a kind of a step-by-step -step run through on how to start using that. And then here in settings, we have pretty much everything you can possibly imagine and more. Uh, it's really a magical place. Uh, I never spend time here. But here you have your account information with name, email address, recent user login activity. Uh, if any of one comes to stalk me in Costa Rica, I will run and hide. Here you have your one-time password stuff. Uh, if you want some extra security, you can see how often your scans have been running. You can adjust your billing details, purchase credits, see all of your recent payments and download receipts, invoices, and so on. Here you have your subscription management where you can cancel, you can upgrade. Please upgrade, don't cancel, makes me sad. I'll cry, I will come to your house and, uh, and uh, I don't know, bring you a sandwich or something. I don't know, whatever it takes to keep you subscribed. Here you can see your credit top up settings. This is just when your credits get low, we'll automatically refill them back up if you want us to. Uh, if you don't, you can just disable it. If you do want us to credit top you up, then you can just put whatever here and then uh, just however much you want us to top you up. And it gives you an estimated price for that. Here you can disable scan sharing. I don't recommend doing this. Uh, I recommend leaving this as enabled. And that way, if you ever have any problems, you can contact us in support and we can handle that for you. Here you can manage your data usage settings. Uh, if you allow us to use anonymized data to improve our model, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, if you don't want that, then you can turn that off here and that's fine. And then here you can remove all of your content scans. So if you have any questions about how to navigate your account in originality, you can hit this little chat button right here. It gets you right in contact with our support. And uh, there, there's my face right there. It's uh, not that good looking. Face for radio, sorry about that. But you can get in contact. It says we respond in under two hours, but actually it's about 19 minutes. So we're pretty quick. Uh, yeah, if you have any issues, just reach out.